replace the X Max main drive shaft or center drive shaft, whatever you want to call it. So first we're gonna remove the body here. You know, we're gonna loosen uh, these four bolts. One, two, three, and four up in the front here. Um, right in front of your receiver box. Once those four are out, now we're gonna want to move back to uh, these two screws right here on each side of uh, where all the wires go into the receiver box. Um, there's only two of them. So, um, one last two here is you want to loosen up, take out the uh, two screws holding on the brace here uh, for the battery. Okay, so that part is done. Now we will flip over. The X Max. Alrighty. And now take off these eight screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight bolts out you can pull this cover off and there it is so there is the main drive shaft uh, going from the front of the X Max all the way to the back um, as you can see there's a crack in the plastic here um, and there's a bit of rub from the aluminum that's rubbed off on the broken plastic so I'm assuming, because it looks like it's dent right about there, uh, that something whacked that when it came down from a jump or something, and it must have hit the drive shaft. Um, and there you go. So that is why I need to replace it. As you can see, really, really bent. Yeah. If you, you can see it go around. You can see it's been rubbing all over. Uh, the inside there of the plastic but really bad so definitely I heard some clunk clunking when I was driving it and I was like hey that is not right so after you took those out on the bottom you should be able to wiggle the front of this out um, this is obviously not the best way to do it but quickest way this is the way to do it um, basically want to just try and wiggle it out like that there you go and there's your servo if you're wondering what that is uh, so if you do it's kind of the same procedure uh, if you need to replace your servo this is kind of the same way you get to it except you would need to disconnect the servo um, on the other side so we should be able to shimmy this out there it is Alrighty, so there is my broken drive shaft. Definitely, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Definitely not how it should be. Um, I'm just gonna double check, make sure uh, my little gear holders, I'm not sure what to call them, but here's my new drive shaft. Uh, if you're wondering the part number, it's 7755. Uh, Traxxas X Max drive shaft, main center drive shaft. Um, but each side has these little pieces uh, that have the gear teeth on them to connect the drive shaft 
into uh, the differential. And I just wanted to make sure, because this is still okay in mine. So just was checking to make sure those are both in each end. We'll go ahead and open it up. And there it is. Looks much better than my bent one. <laughs> so put that in there. Just kind of got to twist it until you feel uh, the gear teeth fit in. And if you want to spin it, uh, you can just to make sure it's all set. And then we will wedge it back in there. Uh, this one can be a little trickier. There we go. We got that. Might have come out the front. You can wiggle it in. And it spins much better. So we will now reconnect this piece here. You can insert that, make sure it stays as it should. And you can begin to reinstall the screws for this piece. So you got your eight bolts back in down the bottom here, uh, plastic pieces back on, uh, and now you're going to want to flip it back over so it's right side up um, and reinstall the few screws that we took out. That is your um, replacement of the Traxxas X Max main center drive shaft um, from start to finish. So there you go. All set, no more clunking. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe for more helpful videos on how to um, fix these, modify them, whatever you want to do. Uh, I do all kinds of stuff like that. So be sure to, be sure to do that. And I can get